Okay, you guys, um, I periscoped this fire earlier when it was really burning, and, um, and it's died down the, although, oh shit, I see a bunch of black smoke. That is not a good sign. That means it hit some oil over there somewhere. That is not good. That could mean, that could mean my neighbor's shed's going up. In fact, that's right in the vicinity of his where he keeps his stuff. Damn. So anyway, um, the I think the bombers are done, and the but the helicopters still keep coming around. Um, you can see that the um, the road that separates. Up oh, there's a bomber. And here comes another one. Right overhead. Okay, you can see that this big um, dirt road that separates my property, which is there, from my neighbor's property, which is there, um, that, uh, that kept the fire from coming uh, onto my own property. Got another bomber over there on the other side of the ridge. Um, the fire is primarily back, or was primarily back behind that ridge of trees you see. It burned this way, which is south, and got into my neighbor's, this new neighbor's yard here. Here comes another big bomber, and another one. There's that guy going over. And then we've got this big guy over here coming over. Kind of see him coming through the smoke there. And they've dropped their loads already. So anyway, um, so this road protected my property. Now, um, of course, while this thing was burning, Mike was over there by the puppy palace getting that all watered down. And we, you know, we had our keys in our hands. We were ready to grab the animals and, and run if we had to. But as it turned out, firemen dealt with, dealt with this side pretty effectively. Um, you can see, this is kind of a creepy shot. You can see my alpaca standing over here next to the road. Um, I'm on my neighbor's uh, property right now. Check this out. This is real creepy looking. You can see they are standing right there where the fire stopped. While the fire was creeping up towards the alpaca, my husband was cutting fence to try and um, make sure these guys could run out if they needed to. So, um, they, as it turned out, they didn't run out. They caught it just as it was coming up towards where they were standing. Um, uh, don't know where it started. I haven't gone on NCWeb yet to find out where where this started, but I think it started considerably to the north of us because when I called 911, they said that there was a fire reported on the corner of um, on the corner of a street that is that is well to the north of us. So my guess is it started there and it burned down the hill. I think that's probably what happened. Um, you can see we've got a lot of black smoke. It indicates oil or tires or something being burned, wires or something. So that's probably a structure that's burning right now. There's something over there above dawn. There's fire above dawn. Okay. Here comes another kind of dram dramatic shot of the, of the fire plane. Oh, and here comes this guy again. So my guess is they're un they're dumping their loads well to the well to the north of us. And here comes this little guy again. So yeah. So anyhow, um, yeah, that's that's all she wrote on this fire. Um, Looks like that our neighbor's house there is okay. I'm sure this neighbor over here is okay as well. 
Um, although that billowing black smoke. Well, that's what they're just pressing right now. Yeah, that billowing black <coughs> smoke isn't isn't good. We've got the fire chief coming back down the road again. When he turned onto our road up there, it's a hairpin turn. He almost lost it and rolled his fire truck um, down and onto my property. You could see his, when he came around, his, his truck was just teetering on two wheels. And he was coming around real fast. So I didn't catch that on video. But uh, oh, we've got more fire trucks coming and the, then the fire... Uh, the uh, fire chief is coming as well, so, you know, yeah. Yeah, Grant's talking to the fire chief. He's wondering if Grant knew what happened. So. So anyhow. I think it's just containment time now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back down here and talk to you guys. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up into my upper garden here and I'm going to sit over here in one of my pink chairs and finish up this video. First of all, thank you all my Perry peeps, everybody who um, who tuned in when the conflagration was actually happening. It was pretty freaking scary. You could tell by all the screaming I was doing. But, uh, oh, oh my shoulder hurts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this around. Yes, I am wet. <laughs> oh God, my shoulder hurts. Let's see if I can do it with the other hand. Um, I can't, maybe I can. Um, yeah, I, I pulled a muscle or did something in my shoulder. I've got to go see the doctor next week. But anyway, um, I'm wet because it's so hot out here, and I was watering the garden after all the brouhaha died down a little bit. And it hasn't completely died down. I mean, there's, you know, the fire bombers are still coming around, as you can hear. So anyway, um, I will just end this by saying that we are fine on this side. No, fire did not touch my property. Thank goodness. And um, I think I'm going to go inside and rest now because all of this, ow, fuck, all of this um, has caused me to be a little bit discombobulated. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, more drama. Um, my neighbor's goats, the guy whose property was um, pretty well um, <laughs> burned up there. Well, here come the neighbor's goats. They're... <laughs> oh, shit, oh, dear. They are out. And God only knows where they're going to end up. Um, <laughs> of course, they don't close fences behind them when, um, when the animals get out. And... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. It's not one thing, it's another. Oh, they're running like hell back towards their house. Don't hit the goats, dude. So there's got to be something else. Yeah, see this black smoke? That's a pretty good indicator that we're not done over there yet. And these goats, they just want to. See, do I have any no fire personnel. Go on, you guys, go home. Go on. Go on, babies. So, all we need is for the goats to get up on the road, somebody swerve to miss a goat, get in an accident, some person get killed. I mean, that's the way this shit goes down. Yeah, they're all running for home now. They know something's going on. And the interesting thing is, you see these cows right here? That black and white cow will do anything in her power, his power, to get out of this fence. So I am really surprised he hasn't run yet. Okay, they're all heading home. God, if it's not one thing, it's another. Jesus. So, 
Looks like we've got yet another. Um, got more and more and more. They've blocked off the road again, so I don't know. It must be hot spots must be coming up here and there is all I can figure. So and the bombers are coming back. And this is the firemen have, are staging, um, staging their, their thing right over here. And we shall see what happens. I'm going to get down here out of the way. Um, and you can see there. And they're just kind of stage in their up stage in their area right back up in there all right if anything else happens i'll turn my well camera the only back. thing that's happening really is we've got more fire personnel coming down the road a couple more um fire trucks and it looks like the bombers are pretty much gone not seeing that anymore and so so that's a fire truck that just came through and then we've got a couple more fire trucks that are going to pass here in just a second. For all you little, for all you people who have little boys that love fire trucks, you need to show them this video. <laughs> nope, these fire trucks are done. There's, they've stopped up. I'll show you. They've stopped up on the other side of my, um, of my uh, fence. So, oh no, here they're coming down. So... So I'm just going to stand here. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're using this as a staging area. They're pro they probably have other... Um... Oh, we got a bomber coming over here. Yeah. Oh, and another one. Big one. Big bomber. Fire personnel just passed us. So keeping this um, keeping this thing out is going to be a real challenge for these people because it seems to be uh, popping up. You know, hot spots seem to be popping up here and there. So you know, they're just using this as a as a staging area. The guy's in my driveway, which is no big deal. He can park in my driveway if he wants. So. Yeah, I think I think most of the brouhaha is over. I think they're just staging for the cleanup right now. So I think I'm going to go back up to my house and and I will uh, I'll turn my camera back on if anything exciting happens.